On Kev's tours, his bright yellow hackney is taken to all corners of Liverpool and through his mobile phone, so are his thousands of followers. We're going down the Albert Dock, guys. Big shout out to Sheila there from Lanzarote, eh? Barbara's from Australia. Kev's taxi doesn't just take you to the iconic landmarks and attractions that Liverpool has to offer. It goes out to different residential areas. This is because many of the people at watch are from the city and have moved away. They miss it so much, they log on to see the streets and areas where they used to live. Edward uh, is, a, is a cab driver in America and talking to him at the moment. Um, I'm talking to a few people from Australia. Barbara's coming over. Um, she, she's from um, Australia and she ain't going to come over, but I've inspired her now with my videos and my tours and she's going to save up and come, come over and see me. And there's a fella in Germany who's, who's an ex, um, who is a scouser, but he's, he's housebound now, so he, he can't come out. And even the local, um, local Liverpool people, um, housebound, and this is what keeps them going. And they've inboxed me. I was going to give it up the other week, and they've inboxed me and said, uh, "No, keep it going. This is what this is my life. This is what keeps me going. I can't get out because you know I'm housebound, and um, it's you who keeps me going, Kevin. Knowing that our city's great, you know. Oh yeah, Johnny hasn't been to Liverpool since 1979. Do you know what, John? It'll be different. Yeah, but that one just been on there. I'll show you a photo from 1982 till now. You wouldn't believe your eyes, mate. It's fantastic. It started about five years ago um, on Facebook, and you know, I put a few old pictures on and stuff like that. And people were people were commenting saying, "Oh, I haven't seen that for years." And last time I seen um, the, the lime seat was like, you know, 10, 10, 15 years ago. So I went out with my camera and um, took up to date ones, and it, and they loved it. And um, you know, put it on my wall and that, and uh, people saying, "Oh, you've got a good eye for that." Um, and then the videos coming along then. I could actually speak to scousers abroad or around the world, actually filming them while I'm working and, and talking, you know. And half the time I get carried away and I forget I'm in work, you know, that's what I love about it. I forget I've got to earn money, you know. When Kev goes live, his feed is filled from people from all over the world wanting to see the sights of Liverpool and to reminisce about the city. I normally work Stanley Street or wherever you end up, North John Street, and someone will get in and say, um, Crocs of Park, please, mate, you know, more Ed Avenue. So I'll take them down there. I won't film, film no one in the cab. Uh, unless those say, oh, I know you can Kev's cab, I'll, I'll, I'll film them, you know. But uh, nine out of ten, I don't. I'll get them to the destination, uh, you know, get them to where they want to be, and then I'll film them and say, right, and I'm more Ed Avenue here, and uh, start filming uh, back into town. So in filming, you come into town empty anyway, back into town, nine's out of ten, you don't get a flag. Uh, and then I'm filming back and, and telling a bit of history and a bit of stuff. But if I do get flagged, I say to them and go, and now I'm just getting the flag here, you know, can't go past money. <laughs> but being this successful does have its burdens, and Kev has to put in a lot of hours to keep his fans entertained. He hopes other cabbies will take on his idea to loosen the strain and to make sure people far and wide can get their daily dose of Liverpool life for years to come. Charlene Smith, BTV News.